Yo, oh, what's up guys, it's Millie here and welcome to my channel boys. Now today we got something special as we're going to be using a recommended team. Now I always try to tell you guys like yo, if you have a 4v4 team, please do comment that down below because 4v4 is just so much fun. Um, You can just create so many different setups, it's just so amazing to play with. And someone recommended this Fest King Seeger type of team. Now you know what Seeger does, basically um, if he applies like plenty of HP, um, or stats debuffs, then I'll get a maximum of three stats of attack, which is going to be pretty good for me, which means my Kings will be able to one punch units pretty easy once they got debuffs on them. That's going to make our debuff damage a lot stronger. Um, he wanted this team with Evil Lilia. I feel like probably like what the unit, um, the new Summer Hawk Oslo, probably a, a better option just because you're going to get that extra damage with um, your hits. So I think that would be a better option than Evil Lilia, but we're going to be trying Evil Lilia because that's what they wanted. And we're going to be using CC food, so hopefully this all works out. All right, so what do we have here? A Melascula and Shin. Okay, this is going to be a very interesting setup what this guy has. Um, Wasn't expecting this team. I can tell you that that much. I guess this is like a fun little Sario rank up type of team that he has here. But obviously we're going to go for our all like debuffs. Um, actually, I'm going to extort first just because like it's probably like the better option. And then I'll debuff all the way with Henderson. Real quick. So we hit him with that. Bow, bow. Mmm. And the bad thing about it is he can't really debuff any of these um, debuffs that's on him. So he's in a, a lot of trouble, boys. We're going to be doing some insane one punch damage with. Oh, and we got the. A gold card? Yo, not Marvel. What are you doing? They just love me right now. Yo, you know what would be funny? All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to debuff him with King. <laughs> And I'm gonna see how much my king can just do to this guy, man. Yo, I just want to see <laughs> how much I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Look at all those debuffs. Yo, oh my god, how much my attack? I how much attack do I have? 10,000 attack. What the? All right, this is what we have to do. It's gonna one punch you. Uh, and what I do is he probably has like a weak. Nah, he probably wasted already. So we're gonna hit the star. Yeah, might as well, right. Let's see how much this one punch will be. Oh, uh, hit him with that Jake Paul. 81k? How much is this gonna be? 83? Holy! Yo, he couldn't take that damage. Best king, best festival unit. Hands down. Alright, so what do we have here, boys? A Lost Vein Meliodas team. 159k CC. Could this potentially be a bot? Let's find out, boys. Let's find out. Um, I think it is a real player. Yeah, I think it is. So we're gonna do that. Hit him with a little extort. So we're gonna buff our own attack. Henderson, you better not crit that lost vein, bro. You have twenty percent crit chance. You have literally twenty percent crit chance, Henderson. How do you always crit lost vein? How? Oh my god, and of course he's going to spam it on Henderson. Henderson is dead. Actually, uh, is he? Dude. Henderson, how? The man doesn't even care about his rank ups. <laughs> Alright, can I just nuke this guy? Because, like, who else is his best DPS? Like, what? Like, I'm not worried about Goddess Elizabeth, of course. Um, Maybe I'll be able to one-punch Lost Vein right here. I'm gonna hit it with this. I don't know. And then go for. Or, or actually, I could probably push for my ultimate. I don't know. No, he didn't use no rank ups. I just remember that. So it's probably best if I do do something like this. And then nuke his um, Eskimo right here. Because he didn't go for rank ups. Oh my god, that did nothing. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. Well, that helped them out. I should have probably just pushed for my ultimate. I don't know. That was the only damage I was going to be able to do. Because now he's going to get all that HP back. The one moment where I need a crit loss vein, I don't even do it. I'm going to say, is he going to go for a rank up? Like, I, I would think he was trying to stall me out. And he, he is a genius. He literally just lost himself the match. Oh, he's double stunned me. Oh my god. I'm going to say he lost himself the match. No, he double stuns. 
Wow. All right. Um, so I'm about to make him lose his both are right here then. Yeah. Um, let's make him let's pressure him a little bit. And do that. So we pressure him by um, going after this Gother instead. By make him lose his passive. Cause now he has to make a decision on who he wants to play around with. Cause now he's worried about my um Seeger ultimate right now. So now he's going to debate if I should attack all the way. Yep, there you go. See, told you he had the debate on who he should attack. Because now he had to waste somebody. Yep, and then he had to waste that card. And that's GG. Because now Seeker is going to finish him off. I still got... Oh, I don't even got my stacks. I was about to say. I still got my stacks. But it don't matter because we're going to ult this guy. And um, we have Eva Lilia with the win animation, all right? It's a flood damage. Oh, here we go. Uh, boom. Oh, never mind. Seeker got it. Let's go. GG, boys. Look at that boy looking pretty. Cute. All right. Assault mode melee with this team. Oh, my God, dude. The perk type bond exists in PvP. Why am I seeing this? Jesus. Man, when 4v3 comes out, man, everyone just love Assault mode melee with this team. Because I get destroyed by this. I usually wouldn't probably show this in the video, but um, I can't do nothing against this Purgatory Bond team. I'm not Purgatory Bond. I'm a Summo Meliodas team. And I haven't gotten no Summo Meliodas um, matchup in a while, so I'm going to just do that. Now, what I need him to do is to waste Amplifier cards. Now, hopefully, it's not on Festival King. Now, what most people do do is they run God's Elizabeth on Festival King team. Because you get to stall out this Amplifier team with shields. Um, revive, stuns, and all that good stuff. But because I am using a uh, Evil Lilia, I can't do that. So if he has Amplifier cards, he's just gonna nuke me. All right, this Lily, what's gonna happen? He's gonna have to just nuke me. If he gets his ultimate, he's gonna get his ultimate. So if he kills me off with all of his um Amplifier cards, I can't do nothing about it. I'll just take my hard ill. This is either that or, you know, like I said before. Is it going to nuke me? It did. So, like I said before, um, with this, you just want to keep spamming your ultimates, which I have none of. Um, so, like I said before, I'm just going to take my hard ale. Because you can't do nothing against this team when you run the Festival King. That's why a lot of people just run gods this bit. I let him waste his Amplifier cards, but it's not going to matter because he's going to throw up Droll Taunt right here. Or just push for his ultimate. Yeah. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. And, yeah. He's going to he's gonna just nuke me right now. Especially since I got all these debuffs on me. That's why it's either like you just play the game of you hope they don't get that many cards with these Seeger and Meliodas. Or you just um you just take L. Yep, there goes a the nuke right there. I don't know why you went for him though. And there goes Meliodas ult right there. Now let's see, can I nuke him? I doubt it. <laughs> like you yo, like you and I actually do. Wow. That's very surprising. I'm actually nuking this guy. Yo, how? <laughs> how am I nuking him? What the heck? Uh, hopefully he has some dupes, I guess. Because I just nuked this guy completely. And he actually does not have dupes at all. I don't know how I just made this comeback. I'm, I I'm as confused as you guys right now who are watching. He literally had Meliodas with like a million buffs on him. And he, he he just lost. I am I am so confused, guys. I am the most confused Festival King player in the world. I don't know what just happened. I What? I guess He didn't even kill. What just happened? 
How did I win this? I'm so confused. But I, I'll, I'll take it, I guess. All right. All right. So we have a per se bond team. I haven't seen this team in a minute. All I get is spam with some of Meliodas teams in PvP. I don't even know how if Purgatory Bond exists. Like maybe they all ran away. But we finally got a uh, Purgatory Bond team, which is gonna be pretty fun. Because all I need to do is pretty much, I guess, push for my ultimate on him. Like, because he's gonna get spam with a uh, plenty of debuffs. Um, I just went for the extort card just so I can buff up my attack. Now, I'm really worried because I don't have a Goddess Elizabeth, which means I have no protection or stalling in my kit right now. Um, and Perkins A. Bond still hits pretty hard. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that, but he still hits pretty hard in PvP. Okay, he goes all in with the one Eskimo. Very interesting setup. So what I'm probably going to do is go all in on maybe any attack seeker the most. He really doesn't want me to get that buff off. So maybe what I could do is probably attack Arthur. Um, I can attack Arthur a lot and just spam my um, Amplifier card. And probably just one punch him right here. And see if I'm able to kill him off. 46k? Okay. Okay, how much is one punch going to be? Woo! I like that. I like that. That's hot. So he lost his damage effect. And 30, yeah, he lost his 30% more damage. And he also lost card slots, which I think he doesn't even really care about. I don't think he attacked with Perkzay Bond at all. He just went for his HP buff, which gives us the opportunity to um go for our gold debuff with Henderson. Hopefully Henderson survives. Because um Henderson is green. And he doesn't have the best crit resist when dealing with this team. Look at that. Not the best. Uh Seeker is gone, so. Yeah, no more buffs. But I got my ultimate ready. Do I have my ultimate? Let's see if we want a card. Oh my god, we might be able to nuke his first day bond right here. I think I can nuke with the weak point. 186k? Uh, can I nuke? That this is literally like the, the only thing I'm worried about. Like if, if I'm able to nuke. I feel like the safer play I should do is go for um the one Escanor. Um, so I'm gonna do that and go for the one Eskinar instead because I'm scared. I'm not, not gonna be able to nuke this guy So I'm playing all my debuffs And just nuke the one Eskinar. I'll do the safe play just in case Yeah, that did like 129k to the one Eskinar. I doubt I was gonna nuke unless I had a one punch card paired up with that Um, so he still has to kill off Henderson yeah, he has to get through um King. And he buffs himself up. Is he going to attack again? Yo, this man is getting the most cards ever. Yo, what is with this Percocet Bond? The man's getting all these cards. Um, So I'm probably going to have to try to do something like this where I can heal up. With Lilia and I guess debuff as well. Let me get some heals in. Cause he shouldn't even get that many um Purgatory Bond attack cards. He really shouldn't. 77k got back. Oh my god. How much debuffs is he gonna get? He might just throw up his shield right here. Yo, don't tell me Purgatory Bond got another attack card. How about to say he shouldn't get that many attack cards? He should at least get more green more attack cards than anything. Which I feel like he does. Which means I, I should just go for like a debuff right here. Our shock and then one punch right here. And then we have our ultimate on Festival King. Debuff right here. And one punch. Cause I think I got all the corrosion things on him as well. I think I did. Oh, I did it. Oh, that sucks. I thought I had a, I thought that extra debuff was a Oh man, I should use the bleed card. I literally thought it was. Oh, we didn't even die. But I that shouldn't even happen right there. I thought it was a bleed card, but it was actually the de attack debuff card from um Lilia. I literally thought that, guys. 
<laughs> Yo, that shouldn't have happened. My bad. My bad, guys. But it should still be GG. Um, this is just the bleed card and do that. I literally thought that. All right. So this should be GG. Because he didn't throw up an HP buff. And there goes the best damage right here. Woo. Oh, man. It almost had me sweating. I thought he was going to nuke me right there. Okay, okay. So he didn't die off instantly. Okay, he attacks with Bond. Instead. I don't know why he did that. Unless he's going to get some cool heal. He didn't even get that much heal. Yeah, I really don't know why he did that. Well, I don't think he was going to win either way. So, Because he still got the best damage you got to worry about. GG. I almost cost myself the matchup. I guess that'll be a last match because, you know, I've been dealing with a lot of solo money with this team. And this team is really not the best against that. Now, hopefully, I might find another Purgatory Prime matchup. But for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, I don't know, man. Um, Just comment down you guys some 4v4 teams for me and I'll see what I can do. Um, I'm probably also going to do an exciting, um, maybe another Chef video because I think we got another new outfit for Merlin right now. So I might do that as well. Um, But... Again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, make sure you guys like and subscribe again. This is really guys, and I'm out. Peace.